Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ren's Wasteland Camp Review slash Dumpster Fires of the Commonwealth. I am Ren and this is Helvetia. We are going to take a quick run around this map on the 29th of February, which is the last day for the test. Uh, for the contest that I am uh, setting up or have running on my channel. So if you want to be part of that, you need to go ahead and submit ASAP by midnight or contact me within the next uh, nine hours or so. And uh, if you need an extension, let me know. All right. Otherwise, I'm just going to post the video of the few camps that I have and we will see how things go. Now then, here we go. First off, because this is Fallout and I am playing basically Weight Simulator 3000. I am going to go ahead and jump over here to this camp, which is uh, Antamara's camp. We'll check it out see if they've got anything cool going on it's just over here in Sutton if it's in this place that I think it is there should be a resource nearby I just don't remember which one it is no no my mistake they're by the wayward jeez Louise they have the water slide. You go up here to get on. And their dog box is in the water, which is weird. They have their workshop up here. And they have power in here and uh, some lights up here. Yeah, I'm not going to use the water slide because I honestly don't like the fact that it puts me back up the top every time I do. Very nice for the old lady to be sitting out here under this crystal chandelier on the front porch of a walled facility, which doesn't make a lot of sense given the area that they're in. <clears throat> Quite a few things for sale. Nothing that is uh, terribly overpriced some things are priced right where you'd expect them to be some things are a little higher some things are a little lower it's always nice when people price and make stem pack diffusers and put them in their shops because a lot of people still haven't gotten that plan yet even with the ability to get it now from different events let's see they've got a wallpaper up in here that woman's quick. I didn't even see her go by me, did you? Oh, the heart-shaped bed so that uh, with the disco light and the uh, stage light up here. We've got one prefab, so that's uh, two points. And a uh, hot tub up here with some flamingos. Oh boy, I guess they and Grandma share the same bed. That sunburst dress is like the favorite of a lot of people right now. I prefer it with the black hat versus the yellow hat, because the black hat looks better in my opinion. It doesn't look like it's, you know, stained all the hell and back. So, I rate camps on a scale of 1 to 10. If you have a bathroom, I give you one point. If you use a prefab, I usually give you two points. Um, I rate the rest of your camp is based on your decorative abilities, your build, uh, level of creativity, how the thing looks in general. I guess they tried to level it out as best they could. And, you know, just genuine, genuine quality of the thing being in the world space because, you know, the... Uh, in the end, if I can look at a camp and say, you know, that looks like it kind of belongs there, I'm going to give it a higher score than one that I look at and go, uh, what the hell? So, in this case, this is kind of that, uh, 
it's it's a level three camp, but it's only a level three camp because you know they used uh, two points for the uh, prefab that's here. Because in all honesty, it's it's not that great a camp. It's actually kind of a shit box. Um, and they didn't even put a shit box out, which is another thing. You know, there there are bathrooms that you can just stick out that are literally a box. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give him a three. Not bad. Not great. It's a good starting point. And I'll head over towards Jawa Ripper's camp. Which is just down this way. This should be right on top of the damn thing. Yeah, less. Oh, there it is. And that was a bit of a lag spike. So they have used the base building set, the wooden set that everybody gets right at the beginning of the game. And they have also used the steel set which is one of the stronger sets you get in the game. They have a power armor display in there. Let's see if it's all locked up or if I can actually... Yep, it's locked up. So we'll just take a quick peek from the outside here and see what they've got in here. A few things. They've got a, well, a construction bot. Put up some turrets to defend the place. A few little odds and ends out here. I don't know why you would bother with uh, locking everything up. But that's a personal choice and it is what it is. I am not going to break into somebody else's camp because I don't really feel the need. They have the problem that everybody has, which is floating tiles. And it looks like they built a big warehouse back here in the back. The old man is their follower. <coughs> so, looking in here... like that's mainly just a workroom. This is just a hallway going in and that is their house in there with a meeting room and table. Well, this makes for real interesting viewing, doesn't it? But I did notice this whenever I was in here earlier. Hmm. I don't know if it'll let me take a quick peek. Hmm. Too much crap in the way, I guess. See, that's the problem with free cam. Even going into free cam and having the ability to move it around like I do, it still has to be able to get into an area to be able to see it. And if you've got enough crap stacked on top of a hole, then the cam can't even get into it because it does have a little bit of resistance. But yeah, that's just a meeting room. It's really... I don't know how to describe it other than it is just an eh camp. You got three different tile sets. I can't really go inside to really give you a true review. 
I'm only going to give it a... I'll give it a 2 because that's all I can really see about it. So moving right along, we'll just leave Jawa's camp alone. We'll go over here to B. Kurt's camp and see if there's anything good there because, well, that one kind of depressed me. Not going to lie. I don't really feel like being wanted and if you're going to build a big camp, you might as well let people take a look at it. And I don't have this yet, but I've seen it around at a couple other camps already. I do have those. And the Nuka-Cola bottles, and a few other little odds and ends. That's an interesting placement for the rock. Um, and an interesting placement for the cooler... So we've got a farm, a few odds and ends, a Fosnock fire, a uh, few turrets to defend the place. Okay, so this one's just a three. Got it. Let's check his vendor out and see if there's anything in here that's worth buying. <coughs> and no... Either that or the server has lagged out so bad that I can't honestly see anything in his vendor anymore. Which is entirely possible. So we're going to go for one last camp. And we're going to go to Rad Stump's camp. Because, well, might as well go to one at least. It looks at least like it might be halfway interesting. Okay, so this is a pre-existing structure that is behind uh, Vault 76. You can actually build in here. Um, but there's already stuff that's pre-existing here. It's a nice little place. Usually there are ghouls floating around, and I wish that they would release like this model right here of a lantern just hanging from a metal peg. As you can see, this one's built out of the vault kit and the steel kit and the basic wood foundations. A bunch of water purifiers. <clears throat> Prices aren't horrible. Prices aren't great either. They're good if you're just starting out, though, and you're looking for a few things to just, you know, add a couple things to your camp. That's a little much. <clears throat> but I get it. Some people are also worried about getting capped out, so they put odd prices on certain items. Well, that's interesting. So the vault tech floors are mainly placed underneath the big armor displays, which is kind of nice. And they have a few things on display, like the... So that's what the glowing mask looks like. Huh. I have the blue one, I actually think I have like four of the blue one, but I haven't got any of the glowing masks at all from Fosnock this season. Not that that's a big deal, but... And this thing produces power as well as radiates power, so you really don't need these connectors unless you're trying to run something specific that requires power, like your... Uh, Vendors, odd sets of tur turrets, or water purifiers. Like I said, it's remote. It covers about, if you put it in the center of your camp, it covers roughly six tiles in any direction from the area where it's placed at. For the largest of the four. The smaller ones may cover a little less. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I just know the largest one's number off the top of my head. But it is a nice change. And if you have the caps or atoms, I suppose I should say, to buy them, I would suggest doing so. So this camp doesn't have a bathroom. It does have a bedroom. It does have a follower. It's basically a display piece of the person that lives here's stuff. They have a few things for sale, a few things on display, some skins, whatnot, various items, water production, 
Um, again, not a, like I said, not a horrible spot, not a particularly great spot either. But, uh, and the camp itself is not great by any means. It's mainly a resource camp, and you can tell that by the uh, thing. So it's another three. This one is decorated slightly better than the other threes that have come before it so far today, but it is still just a three. And let's see, there should be one camp over here hiding underneath mine. Emmy Miller Sky Camp. So this is going to have a grand total of five camps in it because I'm getting tired of threes and I'm hoping to find something that's just a, a fraction better, if that makes any sense, to show you guys. And this one here is a resource camp and it's a floater on top of it. If you don't know what I mean by a floater, I mean they have basically built their entire camp to be suspended by this one stairwell. They have resources here in the uh, junk node. They have resources here in the water system. They have resources thanks to the Santatron. A few masks on sale, a few odds and ends on sale. Their price is not bad at all for any of the stuff that they're selling. It's actually relatively low. The camp itself is just a resource camp. I mean, that big generator over here is kind of a nice touch. A lot of people don't use it, and if they do use it, they don't use it very often. And the fact that the stairs are kind of wonky to the point where I have to jump up them, and the fact that they have uh, all of their stuff up here, I mean, like I said, it's a resource camp with a little bit of display involved, so it's just another three by my criteria. All right. So, this is going to be the end for the day, and uh, the reason for that is um, these on this server have all been just horrible, horrible camps. I mean, there is one over here, which I guess I could go check out. It's a level 215's camp. I'm going to wager that it's a water resource gathering camp because they're in the creek. I'll make a bet. So we'll go ahead and go with six today. So this is six camps. This is definitely the last one, though, and I am running a little late on this video. Um, Foshnock should be going off any moment. As I said, this is the 29th. It's the last day, and here we go again. Look, water resources in the middle of the camp. And around the outside of it, because, you know, why not just put them all inside the bubble and have it there whenever you can just stick them everywhere that you want to be. Nothing of any great value here. <coughs> A few plans that are all priced at market value for most. Nothing really up here except for the bowling alley. When the only decorative thing that you put in your camp is a bowling alley that you bought because... Yeah. So it's it's a... a it's a three. It, there's no other way of putting it. It's just... It, there The whole server is just full of threes today. But if you enjoy these kind of builds and you're uh, having fun, let me know. Uh, subscribe. If you entered the contest, there should be a video up in the next three to four days. Um, if you're running late on putting in your entry, go ahead and do it quick, and I will talk to you later. Have a good day, and have fun in this game where you can.